Hey everybody, I'm Robin Kurian and you're watching Run It With Robin. Today we are celebrating entrepreneur and now author Michelle Smalls, otherwise known as the Queen of Harlem, as she launches her very first book called The Queen of Harlem Commandments. Stay tuned. <laughs> for you know someone to come where she's come from to you know accomplish things she's accomplished you know and to be able to tell her story that's the most important thing you know for us as women to be able to tell our story you know with our words so I mean I commend Michelle so much just in her entrepreneurial spirit just the things that she's accomplished how she gives back to the community she's been in my life for years more so like a godmother slash aunt so just to see her accomplish something else is always amazing. Um, super proud of her. I know that she is excited and it was a long time coming, so. Have you read the book yet? Not yet, but I have multiple copies. What is it about her that inspires you? She's strong. She don't take no nonsense from anyone. She um, She's a go-getter and she's always about her money. And even though she's tough, she has a big heart and I just love her. The people who read this book, what do you want them to get out of reading this book? I want them to get to know not only Michelle, but get to know that all things are possible. It doesn't matter where you came from, what your background is, what you might be going through, that all things are possible if you put God first. We're happy for her. We're here to support her. Much blessings and Everybody success to her. Everybody need to go support her. Go buy the book. Support, yes. you know, definitely. It's growth. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the youth see it, and you know, and choose a different path in life and know that it can happen. I found Michelle's sister Carla here who is in the book. So I gotta ask you, how does it feel knowing that your sister's book is out and you haven't read it yet? No, I haven't read it yet, but it's awesome. Yeah. And I suggest everybody else go get it too, because I know it's gonna be good. What do you want people that read this book to get out of reading her book? Oh wow, I want them to get um, a, sense of, a sense of empowerment. I want them to feel like, um, like no matter where you came from, that anything is possible. And um, forgiveness and you know not everybody came from like a, a, a good background that got to somewhere so just be patient and your time will come it is like overwhelming even for myself to see her prosper and get where she deserves to be and I just see futuristically Michelle growing and growing and growing she's such a great person with a great heart and she's such she's such a good good human being you know you don't find people genuinely like her anymore I'm very proud and I'm very happy for her because uh, she been talking about this book but to see her execute it was actually amazing to me and from where she started to where she's at today lets me know that you know with hard work and perseverance anything is possible this is a part of a whole nother level of life yeah. you know what I'm saying so I'm really happy and I'm really ecstatic for her because of everything that we went through in life and she, she, she always led by example. And she held the brothers down and we here to see her get to this level. So we all congratulate to the highest and may Allah continue to guide her in all her endeavors. I got Michelle's mother. She is in the house. How do you feel, Leslie? How is it just knowing that your daughter has a book out right now about her life? And of course, you're definitely in it, so. Yes, I'm in awe. I'm, I'm just amazed and I'm really proud of my daughter. Yeah. Yes. Did you read the book yet? Some of it. How was it? Because I know that, you know, you, it, it might have been a little difficult to read. You know, there were some parts maybe. Was there or maybe not? Um, not for me because she told her truth. Yeah. And I support everything that she does. I mean, it's been a little struggle because I wasn't there as much as I should have been. But now I'm here and we're in it for the rest of our lives. Yes. You're into the wheels fall off. Yes. All right, the Queen of Harlem brought her kids out here. I got Charlie, Diamond, and Meadow here. Yes. Guys, how do you feel having your mom's book out now? It's I'm official. Excited. Yeah, I'm excited. It's crazy because I've seen her work on it for so long. So now that it's really out, it's unbelievable. She has to grow up quickly. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, she has always just been that, that mother figure she never had opportunity to really be a child because she didn't she didn't have parents like yeah. you know well, my, they wasn't involved in her life at that time but you know so she just has always been on her own always just been strong-headed she had to make herself both parents so she had to and still just because of me and charlie because like she had to be that father for us too yeah. even though we both have fathers but like 
she had to be that for us. I am here with the Queen of Harlem herself and the King of Harlem yeah. too. <laughs> Michelle Smalls, congratulations. How does it feel having your book released today? It feels beyond good. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm still in numb. I'm still in like awe. So I didn't even be really hit me yet because I'm still in awe. Yeah. And how does it feel, the King of Harlem, having the Queen of Harlem's book out? Um, like I said before, she's her, a person when she sets her mind to do something, her will is on. It, it, you can't like she doesn't submit to anything. She wants to win. She wants. She has dedication, determination. From start to finish, how long did it take you to write this book? I've been writing about four years. Oh wow! And um, Rala was like, I, I mean, I kept saying he's like, push, he kept pushing me to do it. And I was like, no, I'm tired. Yeah. So I stopped and I went to LA. And Dame was like, you know what? I love these, Michelle. You Dame know. is Dame and Dash. Yes. Dame Dash said, you got to do it. And I stayed at his house for maybe like a week, and I just wrote a whole bunch of stuff. And he was like, oh, no. So then he called two other people, and he sent some of the stuff. And we put it through Troubled Youth and et cetera. Yeah. And they just gravitate to it, so I just continue writing. Okay, you had said the book was very therapeutic for you. Yeah. But I want to know, did you actually seek therapy? Because you've been through some stuff. So I want to know, like, did you seek therapy after um, you wrote the book? Actually, or I went to th therapy, and therapy didn't help at all. Really? Uh, it was my pastor that actually got me through. Oh, wow. um, my pastor, I mean, I seek therapy, I have friends, nobody, no one couldn't help. Wow. Like my pastor had people praying for me. And Prayer helps. To, yeah. yeah, he had maybe like 400 people on the line wow. praying for me oh. at one time, and that's what carried me through. How do you trust God when you're going through so much? When you get through it. When you get through it, um, it built me. It made me so much stronger. So when I was, I realized after I got through it, he was just testing my strength. Mm -hmm. Or he was make, building me for the next level. And at where I was at, I wasn't strong enough to go to the next level. I'm not from Harlem. I'm not even from New York. But can anybody, does, is it just people in Harlem? Or no, does this help somebody in Brooklyn? No, it's going to help whoever. Okay. Whoever can relate, it's for them. What do you want people to get out of this book? You can start at the complete bottom and still be at the top. So it doesn't matter where you start, it's how you finish. Wow. And what's your favorite chapter from the whole entire book? My bro coat. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I love my bros. Yeah. It, I mean, because I didn't have a father. So my bros, every one of them, I took something out of each one of them. And, um, and that's what kept me going. The book haven't even been out for a day, and I got over 100 little girls calling me and saying that this helped me, and then they have hope. They know being that their mom on drugs, they don't have to be on drugs, so. And they can relate to you because yeah. they're going through that. Yeah, and I've never used drugs or, I mean, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. So just because you're brought from that, you don't have to do it. I know that your mother, she was on drugs mm -hmm. for a while, and you, you kind of cut ties and moved to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend people who have loved ones that are really close to just cut ties and like from someone who is on drugs? Everything don't work for everybody. You have to see what works for you. My mother knew that she really hurted me and it broke me away from her. And that's, the, that's what she understood. I've never used drugs or, I mean, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. So just because you're brought from that, you don't have to do it. A lot of times people follow behind their parents' footsteps and you know, it's usually sometimes it's a chain reaction and you could break that chain. Is there something in the water in Harlem? Cause your teeth are all so good. You got good teeth. I'm like, what the hell is this? We get money in Harlem. That's what That's it what is. Our bag is different. Our bag is different. Their bag and their teeth are different.